Hello, hello, good morning. Okay, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Luis. Good morning. Welcome to your grammar class. Okay, so let's see. We continue talking about imperatives. Yes? Okay, excellent. Uh, today we have a test, yeah? An online test yeah, about a specific topic. <laughs> okay, let's prove our knowledge in something, yeah? But first one we work. Okay, so let's see, let's start. Uh, let me check this part. Okay, this one is grammar and vision. Okay, your book and we check imperatives. Okay, let's remember imperatives we use, okay, when we say something or when we tell something to people, yeah, to do different things. Okay, that's mean an action, could be an instruction, uh, maybe an advice. Yes, it's possible. Okay, excellent. So let's see. Now, and we use imperatives. Uh, let me see, for example, on forms of websites, in a science, uh, let me check in a banner, etc. Yeah, this one are the use of imperative. But first one, we check advices. Okay, for example, our parents every day, okay, give advices all of, uh, to all of us. Yes, okay, you stand up, please eat carefully, eat healthy, etc. Yeah, okay. So let's see, give some advice about work. Use the negative or affirmative forms of the verb in parentheses. Remember, the last class we studied the structure of negative and also affirmative statements. Yes, okay, for example, in affirmative statements, you begin with a verb, okay, with the main verb, and then you add the, the complement, okay, the extra information. And in negative, first one, you begin with the auxiliary, that's mean with the helping verb, okay, do or does, okay, in negative, maybe don't, okay, do not, um, and also then you add the verb, yeah. So let's put in practice this one right now. Okay, give some advices, but in negative. For example, number one says, okay, the bird is ask about co-workers live at home when you are new. So if we write in negative, we say, don't ask, or maybe do not ask, okay? It's depend. If you want to say, okay, in the contracted form, you can do it, or maybe you can write in the contracted form. Yes. Okay. Number two, the verb is take a lunch break every day. So that's mean. We say as imperative in negative. We say. Okay. Mm -hmm. The contracted form. Okay. Don't. Don't take. Yeah. Okay. Don't take. In that case, don't take a lunch break every day, okay? Or maybe do not take a lunch break every day. Okay, number three, enjoy long coffee breaks in the morning and afternoon, okay? In negative, so that's mean we add. Don't enjoy. Okay, don't enjoy, exactly. And that's all, yes, don't enjoy. Remember, the verb is in the main form, yeah? So that's mean we doesn't change anything to the verb, yeah? Don't enjoy long coffee breaks in the morning and afternoon. Okay, number four, eat. Okay, don't eat lunch with your co-workers yes okay don't eat lunch with your co-workers okay thank you number five socialize with your co-workers after work if they invite you okay so that's mean don't and you write the verb exactly okay don't socialize yes okay let me move this part okay don't socialize with your co-workers after work if they invite you yeah okay next one number six okay don't talk yes don't talk about vacations or your weekend plans at work mm -hmm. 
Okay, number seven. Okay, don't talk one more time, exactly. Okay. Yes. Okay, don't talk about money or politics. Yeah, okay. And the last one, don't, don't learn from your mistakes. <laughs> okay, so I think this one are, let me see, no good advice. Don't learn from your mistake because every day we need to learn from our mistakes, yes? Okay, exactly. Okay, don't talk about money or politics. Okay, in that case, this one is one of my rules, yeah? I don't talk about money or politics. First one, because I don't like to talk about politics. And second one, uh, let me see, I don't have much information about this topic. And also I think this one is, uh, let me see something that argue with other people. So no, it's not necessary, yeah? Okay, so let's see, let's review. Okay, don't take a lunch break every day. Don't enjoy long coffee breaks in the morning and afternoon. Don't eat lunch with your coworkers. Don't socialize with your coworkers after work if they invite you. Don't talk about vacations or your weekend plans at work. And don't talk about money or politics and don't learn from your mistakes. Okay, do you consider that these advices, okay, are good advices? Okay, maybe some of them. Yes. Okay. Okay. Tell me, Aaron. So, what's in español? Porque no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. Es que en la instrucción dice que puedes usar negativo o afirmativo. Ah, yeah. Okay. It's possible. Yes. Exactly. Okay. We can use negative or positive. Yes. Thank you, Aaron. Okay. It's the pen. But in that case, okay, we use only negative. Yeah. Negative or affirmative force. Okay, thank you, Aaron. So let's see, that's mean we can say, okay, talk about vacations or your weekend plans at work. Yeah, if you can write an affirmative. Yeah, okay, learn from your mistakes. Yeah, it's possible. Exactly. But we use only negative. Yeah. You are okay, Aaron. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> Let me check. Okay, let's clear this part. Okay, and now let's continue. Yes. Okay, imperative social customs. Mm, this one is a topic that is interesting. Yeah, because in different places, okay, you need to do something and other places, no. Okay, so let, that's mean. Uh, let me see, maybe in a restaurant are allowed another one. No, yeah, this kind of rules. So let's check. Jay is taking a work trip to Japan and India. Use the birds in the box to give her some advice. You need to make the bird negative two times. Okay, so in that case, only two times. So we have the different verbs. Eat, forget, give, keep, take, take off, that we have already used, wear and wrap. Okay, number one, take off your shoes. Mm, okay, so this one is interesting. Do you take off your shoes? Yeah, okay. Number two, a small gift. What do you think in that case? A small gift. What is a verb? Okay. Give a small gift. Yeah, it's possible. Okay. Let me wait here. Okay, give. Give a small gift. Yeah, this one is okay. Your gift nicely. Mm. What do you think is a verb? Okay, wrap, yeah, excellent. Okay, in that case is wrap. Okay, wrap your gift nicely. Yeah, okay, food with your left hand. Mm. Okay, so this one is one of the rules in a restaurant. Okay, eat, exactly. Yes, okay, eat food with your left hand. Okay, also, Things to people with your left hand. I listened some information about this one. Take. Ah, also take things to people with your left hand. Okay, so let's see. Aha, uh -huh. but do you consider that this one is positive or is it negative? 
so you have right and you have left. I think this one is the bent, yeah? Because if you use your left hand, so you give the things with this one, yeah? But if you use your right hand, so you give the things with that hand, yeah? Okay, but in some countries, okay, this one, this information specifically, okay? In Japan, this one is negative, okay? So you don't give things to people with your left hand or you don't keep, yeah? It's possible because they consider that this one is, uh, let me see, it's not polite. It's an action that is not polite, yeah? Okay, so in that case, don't give, yeah. Okay, don't give things to people with your left hand. They consider that this one is impolite. Okay, number six, your feet on the ground when you sit. When you sit, what do you think? Okay, so we use the bird. Take off, eat, don't give, wrap. Okay, let me check here, keep. Okay, yes, keep, exactly. Okay, keep your feet on the ground when you sit. Yes, okay, this one is one of the rule or the habits when you sit. Okay, your elbow outside, your back, okay, right? And you keep your feet on the ground, yeah. Okay, number seven, nice clothes. What is this one? Okay, wear, yes. Okay, wear nice clothes. And the last one, to write a thank you note later. Okay, don't forget. Yes, <laughs> excellent. Okay, don't forget. Don't forget to write a thank you note later. Yes. Okay, good morning, welcome. So let's see, in that case. Okay, number two, give. Number three, wrap. Okay, number four, eat. Number five, don't give. Yes, six, keep. Number seven, wear. And number eight, don't forget. Okay, so that's mean if you travel, okay, to Japan or maybe India, so you take off your shoes. This one is one of the rules. You give a small gift. Uh huh. You wrap your gift nicely. You eat food with your left hand. And also don't give things to people with your left hand because this one is impolite. Keep your feet on the ground when you're seat. Wear nice clothes and don't forget write a thank you note later. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Yes, it's a point of the culture. Yeah. Okay. Of the country that you visit. Okay. What are some social dinner customs? You know. Write for imperatives about social dinner customs in a country you know well. Okay, so we have the first one. In the United States, bring flowers to the host or hostess. Don't take your shoes off. Okay, this one is one. Okay, what else? Do you know some social dinner custom in a different country? Okay. Maybe. Uh, let me see the United States, okay. Maybe in France. Okay, tell me some social dinner customs around the world, if you know one. Okay, for example, here in El Salvador. Okay, eat pupusas with your fingers, yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe this is one, yeah. It's better. Okay. Don't use, um, let me check another one. Okay. The United States bring flowers to the hostess, yes. Okay, let me check in. I think in South America and also, let me see the Aztecs and people related to that, uh, they respect the mother earth. So, okay, 
they prayed, exactly. And give thanks to the Mother Earth when they eat different kind of fruit or different kind of vegetables or animal. Yes, this is one. Okay, let me check another. What else? Okay, for example, in France, okay, when you go to a restaurant, you need to arrive, uh, let me see, fashionable. Yeah, that's mean with, let me see, clothes that is for the occasion. Yes, remember the restaurant in France are, uh, let me see, famous and also are elegant. So you need to dress or you need to wear different clothes, but fashionable. Yes, this one is another one. Okay, maybe in another country, okay, you don't eat, uh, let me see, without, let me see, fork or without knife, yeah? So that's mean you never eat with your hands. It's going to be another, okay? Let's see what else. Um, in some countries, okay, you don't refill, yeah? So that's mean you don't... Uh, let me see, take another drink or another glass of drink as a second time, third time, okay? It's not similar to our country, yeah? Because if you go, let me see, to McDonald's, okay? Or another fast food restaurant, so you can refill, yeah, your drink. Okay, I tell you four or five, yes? I hope that you write in the space below. Ah, okay. Oh, in Massachusetts, okay, you don't have to slow the soap. Yeah, this one is good. Okay, do that. <laughs> okay, there are some people that say that you enjoy it, okay, the food, if you, if you do this activity, do that, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think this one is not, is not a good habit, yeah? The majority of the children do that, yeah? Okay, excellent. I love it. <laughs> yes, okay. So remember, when we are, let me see, hungry, okay, we forget all the rules. Yeah, so only eat. Yes. <laughs> okay, for example, a person that, let me see, come from the United States, okay, eat the pupusas with, uh, let me see, a knife, a fork, yeah. Okay, and Salvadorian people, no. Okay, you eat with your hands, with your fingers, and that's all. <laughs> okay, that's good. Ah, remember another one. Okay, for example, um, let's see, when you go to a restaurant, you need to use, uh, what is that? Okay, let me tell you. I forget, napkin, yeah? Okay, so it is necessary. Yes, okay, to use this one, okay? To use napkins, okay. Excellent. So let's see, let's continue. So this one are the different rules. Okay, so this one are signs. Let me stop share this one and I show you another thing. Okay, so let's see. We have, okay, different signs in that case. Okay, first one we discuss about this one. Okay, COVID-19. Different rules that we follow, okay, that we memorize and that we practice every day. Okay, for example, in that case, we use imperatives. Wash your hands frequently for 20 seconds each day. So you wash your hands, okay, you know that this one is an instruction, yeah? Okay, we use imperatives not only in advice, okay, we use as instruction. Practice social distancing and avoid crowded places, okay? So all of this rule you can find in different malls, in different restaurants, in different places, yeah? That's mean around the world. Wear a face mask and gloves if possible, okay? Let's see, cough or sneeze into your elbow away from others. So we practice this one. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth, okay? So you don't do that. Avoid personal contact with others, okay? So we use an herbal, yeah? And we say only that. Use hand sanitizer frequently, okay? Uh, maybe um, every moment, yeah, it's possible with at least 60% of alcohol, yeah? And clean and 
disinfect your surroundings often. Okay, that's mean your cell phone, uh, that's mean the table, okay, all the things that you use. So these kind of rules that we apply every day when we go out, when we go to a different places, because it is necessary, okay, for protecting all of us. But we have another rules, for example, pool rules. What are these one? Okay, the majority, Okay, we can see, uh, let me see, in a place, use the stairs, no drink, no food, no smoking, no littering, use restroom. Okay, don't shout, no pets, no driving, don't run. Okay, if you see this one, we don't only use, okay, the auxiliary or the helping word don't. Okay, we can use no, no smoking. Yeah, is possible to say that? Yes, okay, and this one is an instruction. Okay, children only with parents, be careful. Okay, uh, use cap in Googles, use slippers, etc. So we have different pool rules. And also this one, okay, there are traffic rules. Yes, okay, so when you say stop, yeah, this one is an imperative. Okay, there are other ones that say anything. For example, this one, give way, one way, no entry, one way, right or uh, let me see, and different, okay, signs in that case. The majority of the traffic lights, okay, don't have, uh, let me see, words, don't have a specific instruction. So it is necessary that we learn and we memorize what is the meaning of that. But some of them, okay, you can have, or you can find expressions under the sign, not all, some of them, yes? Okay, for example, this one has uh, prohibited, yeah? So we know that we can see this sign. Okay, you know that this one is the meaning, but the majority of the signs, let me see, don't have, okay, the expression, yeah? Okay, so let's see. Now we practice in our book, yes. Okay, let me check this one. Okay, for example, you see the signs, yeah? Look at the signs and complete the imperatives in the chart. Okay, so we use the verbs that we have in the box. Number one, throw your trash here. Yeah, this is the first one. Number two, what do you think? This number two. Bring, drink, feed, write, turn, use, or wear. It's the pen, yeah? Okay, what do you think is number two? What do you think is the action or is the verb that we use in that case? Feed the animals. Feed the animals. Okay. Yes. Okay, but this one is positive or negative? negative. Ah, okay, it's negative. So you say don't, okay, don't feed the animals. Yes, because it's going to a load. Yeah. Okay. Don't feed the animals. Next one. Your bicycle here. What do you think? Don't ride. Don't ride your bicycle okay. here. Okay. Don't ride. Yes. Okay. Don't ride your bicycle here. Next one. Don't. Don't drink water. The water. Okay. Don't drink the water. Exactly. Okay. Maybe the water is not in good condition for that reason. Okay. This sign. Don't drink the water. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Food or drink into the museum. Don't bring. Okay. Don't bring. It. Yes. Remember the majority of public places, but we talk about cultural places. Okay, museum, theater, okay, you practice this one. Don't bring, okay, food. Let's see, next one, left here. What do you think? Don't turn here. Okay, don't turn, left here, yes. Okay, don't turn, left here. Okay. Okay, I think you're right, yeah? I need to move this part. Okay, excellent. And the last two, okay, let's see. Your cell phone. 
Don't use your cell don't phone. Use. <laughs> okay, don't use your cell phone. This one is a rule that we practice at a school, yeah? Okay, don't use your cell phone. And the last one, your helmet. Wear your helmet. Okay, wear. Yes, this one is positive. Wear. Okay, wear your helmet. Yeah. Okay, I think this one is an instruction, but also is an advice. Yeah, wear your helmet. Okay, excellent. So don't use your cell phone, wear your helmet. Okay, nice. So let me stop here and now we practice with a quiz. Okay, what is not that? Is this one? Okay, let's prove our knowledge about this topic. Okay, so we check what is the meaning of the different signs here. Okay, what does this sign mean? So you have this one, one way. Okay, what is the option? A, B, or C? One lane bridge ahead is slow down. You may travel only in the direction in which the arrow is pointing or no left turn. What is that? A, the B, second or C? One. The second B. one, okay. B, okay. B. Let's see. Okay, checking answer. Yes. yes, okay. Next question. Let's see. Okay, you are almost likely to find a sign. Okay, narrow bridge. A, B, or C. If there is a footbridge uh, for pedestrian ahead, one of the approach to a bridge which has room for only two bicycles, slow down and proceed with caution. And when a bridge is not safe to drive on. <laughs> do you think? A, B, or C? Okay, remember when we, uh, let me see, go to Sertrase, yeah, this one is the company that is in charge of this one, so we, it is necessary that we develop this test, yeah? Okay, what do you think? A, B, or C? So let's check if we are, uh, let me see, okay for obtaining the drive license, yes? Okay, A, B, or C, what do you think? So you give me one, one answer. Okay, let's see. Uh, Gabriel, I didn't hear you. Okay, maybe we're in the chat, yeah. Ah, okay. So let's see. Maybe click enter, yeah, it's possible. Mm, okay, so let's see. Okay, the other ones, give me one answer. Okay, Abram. Can you see the screen? Si puede ver la pantalla. Okay. Okay, maybe you go out, Gabriel, and you enter one more time. Yes? Let me check. Okay, so yeah, let's see. Okay, A, B, or C? What do you think? A. A, okay. Let's see. Okay, no, this one is B. On the approach to a bridge, which has room for only two bicycles, okay? And slow down and proceed with caution, yeah? Okay, next question. Let's see, this okay. one. Okay, what does this mean? <laughs> this one is easy. You are a highway 60, you can go faster than 60 kilometers. You are not to exceed 60 kilometers. Okay. See. Okay. See. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. See. Give me some seconds. I change the connection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Right now it's okay. 
Okay, so you say C. Let me check. Okay, yes, excellent. So let's see, next one. What does this sign mean? Okay, traffic controller help, school children crossing the road or traffic lights out of order. Okay, what is the meaning of this one? I think that is A. A, okay, so yeah. let's check. Let me see. Yeah, this one is correct. Okay, correct yeah. A. <laughs> okay, traffic control ahead. Okay, next question. Aha, uh -huh, what does the sign mean? Merging traffic, row no rows ahead from one lane of traffic. Okay. Okay, what do you think? A, B, or C? The majority of the times, okay, so we go by car, but we don't pay attention to the signs, yes? And it is necessary. Okay, you say C, let me check. Okay, now this one is B, row narrows a hell. Okay, you are slow down and prepare for a change in traffic conditions, yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's see, next one. Ah, okay, what is that? Row on the repair, sharp turns in row the hell. Row may be a slippery when get when wet. C. C. Letter C. Okay. Let me check. Yes, it's gonna be letter C. Okay, next one. Ah, okay. Pedestrian crossing a hell, overhead footbridge, joggers a hell. And you know that here in El Salvador, okay. So let me check. Letter A. Letter A. So we have different color of signs. Yeah, we have blue, we have yellow, and we have red. Yes. Okay. In the next class, we'll discover what is the, mm -hmm. the meaning of this one. Okay. Let's see. This one is correct. Excellent. Okay. This part. Row under repair. A steep downgrade. Row ahead of slippery. Letter B. Letter B. Okay. So let me check. Yes. Okay. This is a steep wheel hill health. Okay. You should slow down and change down one or two gears. Yes. Okay. So let's see. Next one. Okay. What is that? Okay. Police station ahead. A sharp depression in the road. Don't drive with your lights or high beam. Okay, we don't have the sign here, yeah? But remember, the majority of the traffic signs are international, yeah? But I didn't see or don't see one of this one here in El Salvador. Okay, A, B, or C. Let's discover about the abbreviation, D-I-P. What is the meaning of that? Mm, let me see. Don't include, no, I don't know. Police station have. Okay, you say A. Let me check if it is A. Let's check. Okay, this one is B. Oh, a short depression in the row can burn out your suspension in extreme cases if you are going too fast. Mm, okay, so this one is a good idea. Okay, let's see. And this one. Yes, we have this one here in our country. Tollway ahead, not through road ahead. T intersection ahead. C. C, okay. Yes, this one is correct. <laughs> okay, this one is easy. Let's see. And this part. Okay. Nature reserve, drive carefully or so 30 kilometers ahead. B. B, okay. Let me check. Yes, this one is B. Yeah, this one is a sign especially because you can watch out, okay? Some kangaroos, okay. This one, ah, um, okay. What is that? Stop until train has passed. Slow down and drive carefully. Stop until red lights stop flashing then drive. Okay, what do you think? 
C. Okay, so you say A or C. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do Team Marine. Team Marine, that was my way to get my character to play on the field. The T, pegale, pegale, que ya fue. Okay, A. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Ah, yeah, this one is C, Aaron. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Next one. Okay, let's check this part. Ah, keep left. This sign means right carefully, pass to the left on the sign, turn left at next street. Letter, letter C. Letter C, okay. A. C. I, this one is letter B. Okay, pass to the left of the sign. Mm, okay, interesting. Let's see this one. This one is easy. Okay, you must not drive faster than. Okay, or oh, the sign applies to truck drivers only. Cars can travel at any speed. A. Okay, A, let's check this part. A, okay, yes. Yeah, you must not drive faster than 100 kilometers. Yeah, okay, let's see. What is that? Hospital hell, stop and help each pedestrian, slow down and look out for pedestrian crossing the road ahead. Okay, you say letter C. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, okay. Let me check. Yes, okay. So imagine we have right now 16, okay? So there are 51 questions, okay? We don't solve all the tests, but let me see one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we fail five. That's mean we are good drivers, yeah? <laughs> okay, excellent. So let's see, let's continue with our book. Okay, let me check, see this one. So let's see, right now, with the partner, we write a list of six signs you see every day. How many use imperatives? Okay, we have an example, don't use elevators in case of fire. This one is one, okay, of the signs that we can see. Maybe, uh, let me check, I share the presentation and you can take some ideas of this one, yes? Okay, let's check. Okay, maybe you can write this one on page uh, 242. Wash your hands frequently for 20 seconds. Yeah, so you write this one. Uh, avoid personal contact with others. We have two. Let me check. Okay, practice social distancing. Yeah, in public places. This is possible. Use hand sanitizer frequently. Yeah, we have another. Uh, let's check. Okay, cup or sneeze into your elbow. Yeah, this is another. So you can write four of this one for completing the exercise on page 242. Yes, so we have one example here. I'm sorry, this one is on page 244. Yeah. Okay. You can copy some of them for completing this part because the majority of the time, Okay, we practice this instruction, yes, or this advice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or maybe in a restaurant, yes. Okay, pets are not allowed. Allowed is possible, yeah. Okay, so you tell me when you finish, yeah. Okay, maybe you put a reaction. A heart, okay, a smile when you finish this part. Remember, we are on page 244 and we develop exercise B. So you write a list of six signs you see every day. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes? Okay, thank you, Aaron. Okay, maybe we can use some of this one. Watch your children, yeah? Don't swim alone. Okay. Children only with parents is possible. Oh, one of this one, yes? 
one way. Stop is another one. A speed limit. Yeah, it's other. Okay, see you at 11, yeah, in our second grammar class of today. Okay, thank you for participating. Okay.